Da 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 Citrus Sloth. Hey guys, Citrus Sloth here. Um, I was bored, so I decided to play some Minecraft. Uh, my friend made a Feed the Beast server, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. I wanted to show you guys my quarry and my compression, as well as my farm. So. This is my house. It's kind of. Let me. I hate monsters and stuff and dealing with them. So I'm just going to not at all. So here's my house from the outside. Looks like a giant obsidian brick. With a few solar panels surrounded by obsidian with torches on the inside and outside so no monsters can spawn near them. Because I lost like all of them and it sucked. So, yeah. So, here is a hole dug by my quarry. I was actually able to rush a quarry very early on. There's like the main house for everybody. So, over there is another hole dug by my quarry. I dug it there specifically because somebody blew up a large portion of that area with a nuke and uh, ruined everything so I decided I didn't want to clean it up I just wanted to mine the whole thing so this pipeline that comes from my base that leads all the way back to home and that carries with it a bunch of ore and compressed dirt and cobblestone and stuff like that but over here once we get inside I have extra doors to take precautions against creepers. So here we have the compression center. So in through this line comes a feed of all sorts of stuff. And in this one specifically, it throws out these materials because I I don't find a use for any of these basically, as well as these. And the only reason these are being thrown out is because those are the most creative materials from the top layer when the quarry destroys grass. So as you can see, it's tossing out granite and andesite and all that crap that nobody can use. So what it is taking in is it's taking in ore, cobblestone, and dirt. Now the dirt goes this way, and the cobblestone goes this way. So whenever dirt is entered, it goes into these auto workbenches, which compress it into compressed dirt. And there's four of them here. And after those compress it initially, the dirt comes up, goes through this tubing, and you can see it coming from all the other ones, and it gets compressed again, so it's double compressed. And then after it gets double compressed, enough, or after enough double compressed go in there, or after enough, ah, after enough compressed dirt goes in here, it gets double compressed, then that goes up here to get triple compressed. And then that goes up here to get quadruple compressed. So there's 6,500 dirt in every block. Which is absolutely ridiculous. So, I also have it so that... Automatically flows up through here to this workbench. And it automatically gets turned into marble brick and gets sent on down the line. And it also, any obsidian that it picks up gets compressed and get sent on down the line. There's also another area where tin ore specifically is separated out, mercerated so it gets turned into not dust but like coarse tin ore or whatever and each one of those can be melted down into an ingot. So it basically makes every ore into two ingots instead of one ore into one ingot like normal. So it gets mercerated and then it gets melted down. And that gets sent on down the line. Ooh, what was that? Scary. Anyway, now for cobblestone. So co the cobblestone operation is a little bit bigger because there's obviously a lot more cobblestone down there than there is dirt. So, cobblestone gets sent in through here, gets compressed once, goes up all the way through here into this one, 
which compresses it again and then again and then again and then again and then again and again until it's all the way up to octuple compressed cobblestone which contains 43 million cobblestone blocks per block which is absolutely ridiculous but this kind of filters out cobblestone almost completely because it requires so much cobblestone the highest one i have right now is two of these which themselves took quite a long time to make and that's using all of the cobblestone from the other house too that we gathered all throughout the server so we have an absolutely ridiculous amount of cobblestone and all of that is being compressed constantly now here iron ore is specifically taken out and once again mercerated and then melted down into ingots and here's where the real magic happens so you'll see all of these pipes join into one central pipe here now what that does it goes through here and this diamond uh, pipe takes out ingots from iron, aluminum, gold, marble. It also takes out marble brick, tin ingots, copper ingots, basically a bunch of different types of ingots, as well as diamond and coal. And those get sent through down here. And as and linked up with this pipe, which goes all the way over here into my my ore chest, basically. So this is where everything winds up after we're done. This is supposed to be only things from the earth or whatever. And you see I got some obsidian, compressed obsidian, compressed dirt, and a bunch of ingots and stuff. And then this one filters out barley seeds, barley, sugarcane, oak wood, and bread. Now, why would I have that? which is going up into a different chest. Well, firstly, I uh, I don't want my wheat and stuff in the same chest as the ore, just a personal thing. Secondly, what specifically, oh, by the way, this is a, this is one that, com or not compresses, but it auto crafts bread. I know it's more efficient if you take the barley itself, turn it into flour, and then cook it into bread, but I literally have an en enormous amount of wheat. So we escape the hustle and bustle of the factory, go down into this quarry here. Just gotta wait a little bit. <laughs> And then we see our farm. Now it has a planter here. Fucking wisps, dude. I hate wisps so much. I'm just gonna ignore it. So there's a planter here, which automatically gets fed barley seeds. And there's a harvester here, which harvests all the barley. And those are all powered by that one little solar panel over there. So, Oh, that's a lot of water. <laughs> so, all of the barley and seeds and every or er, all of the barley gets sent up this pipe, which goes all the way up there. But all the seeds get sent back down into the planter. And that just works constantly. There's never any downtime. And then this pipe here is called a fluid duct, and that takes the sludge that's generated by the harvester and sends it all the way up so I can deal with it. Which yeah, that's that's the farm. And like I said, it generates so much wheat. I have one three or four times as big near the main house and we literally we have a chest there that just constantly overflows with wheat and seeds. Because it's just filled to the brim and there's nothing that the machines can do about it. So once I get up here, I will show you the actual quarry itself. Maybe 
give this thing a little bit more wheat to process. So that's the, the meat of it, but now to the actual quarry. Here's the place where I deal with the sludge. It's full of sludge there. Okay, now as you can see, I have mined out a very large area. And I'm going to continue strip mining this place until there is basically nothing left. Because this is far away and nobody else comes over here, and it's kind of cool. Anyway, so here's the actual quarry itself. So the quarry is right here. And in order to make it this big, you use these things called landmarks. So you place the landmarks manually. So I placed one way over there, way over there, way over there. And I made this whole shebang. And I have a resonant solar panel powering a redstone energy cell, which then powers the quarry. And I also have two diamond chests, because honestly, this gets filled up with so much stuff. It's ridiculous. I'm actually going to throw out these seeds and crap, because I don't really need them. And at this point, they just take up space. So, oh well, <laughs> looks like that's actually taking care of the seeds for me. So, here I have two uh, crystal chests, which is basically diamond chests. But here, they're, be they're being doubly extracted because one extraction point isn't enough because it mines so quickly. So, I have two extraction pipes here, powered by the redstone engines. They link up, and the iron pipes are there so that none of the stuff goes back down into the chests. So all of that, after it gets extracted, gets sent down this line. And then it gets filtered, so stuff like andesite and gravel are thrown out. But all the good stuff like ore and dirt and coal and obsidian and all that stuff gets channeled in. And yeah, that is the bulk of my contribution to this Minecraft server. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, because this was really fun to make. And if you haven't tried Feed the Beast yet, and you play Minecraft, give it a try, because it is pretty great. Alrighty then, bye bye